Hello guys, I'm Dheeraj Kamath and today we're gonna see how we can create a simple calculator app. So I've divided this into a series of tutorials so that uh, you can clearly understand how uh, we can first create the layout and then we can proceed to creating uh, the Java code for it. So firstly open your Android studio, go ahead and create a new project. You can give it any name of your choice. For simplicity, I'll just call it the calculator. And uh, let's choose all the defaults. We are not going to change anything. And uh, choose an empty activity. Main activity and click on finish. So this will take uh, some seconds to load. So I'll skip forward. So as you can see, uh, we have the main activity dot Java that pops up uh, when um, the Android Studio opens, if you can't see this file, then um, go to the left, go to the left uh, corner, and uh, in under Project, you'll have uh, Java. Click on a drop-down list. In the package, you'll you can see the main active Java. If you right-click on it, you can get this file. And uh, to get the layout file for Activity Main, so just go to Resources again at the left top corner and uh, under that select the drop down list in layouts and right double click on activity main.xml and you should see this uh, created okay so what i'm going to do is firstly we are going to change uh, the constraint layout to relative layout because constraint layout is not really helpful for us so as you can see uh, when i changed this to relative layout, uh, the closing tag also changed. So make sure that if, if this doesn't, when you change this, if this is not changing, just replace this as well. So if you want, you can also check the design. So as you can see, this is how it will look. There is hello world, the text view, which is displayed. You can uh, move around. can move it around so now what we do is firstly so we need to have buttons for the calculator so we'll just go ahead and delete the hello world now if you can see the palette here so you have uh, a couple of widgets firstly we are going ahead and dragging on the buttons so as you can see there's a button here so we'll go ahead and name it the number nine so on the rightmost corner you can see there are a couple of parameters which are defined for each widget so you can change uh, any parameter uh, of your choice but for now just uh, we'll change the text to 9 and now what relative layout does is when you drag the next button it places the button relatively with respect to your previous button which was 9 so let's call this 8 as you can see at the right hand uh, rightmost side you can change the text it 8 okay so once this is done, okay, so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, drag button similarly. So, the so button 7, again change the text to 7. As you can see now, uh, the spacing between uh, 9 and 8 and 8 and 7 is little different. So, we're going to place it closer, okay. So, as you can see, with the help of a mouse, uh, you can place it exactly where you want in relative layout and there are no constraints whatsoever so let's go ahead and uh, create the buttons in a similar fashion so as you can see i'm placing it uh, clearly um, uh, under each button with same spacing
so as you know in a calculator app uh, you also need to provide uh, this will be the decimal and then you have uh, your zero you can also provide uh, clear and we have to add uh, all the arithmetic operators so let's call this the division and here we have our multiplication and this will be our division and this will be our equal to so what we'll do is um, instead of clear because clearly subtraction is not there so let's let's go ahead and uh, make this the clear one we will not deal with the decimal for now let's keep it simple we will make we will call clear as equal to and this will be our minus sign so this is your subtraction so as you can see we have uh, all our as you can see so this is our calculator layout and you can see that uh, when you zoom in you can see that the spacing is slightly different so you can adjust it uh, so you can adjust it as per requirement and here you go you have uh, all your buttons so now what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and add the different uh, other parameters like we'll add the widget text view so that we see um, what button we are clicking so for that sake uh, go to text view in the palette section and drag it just above the division symbol okay and now let's go ahead and also create uh, another text view which which will display our final result the reason i have taken two text views is because uh, firstly i want when you click a button i want the text to be displayed here and uh, once you know uh, once you press the equal to sign the result should be displayed here and this text view gets cleared so we'll just go ahead and uh, go to the text go to the xml layout so in the, in the xml layout you can see that uh, each one as uh, each widget has a an id a unique id so for the first button it's called button and it goes goes on up to up to 16 buttons and uh, we also have our text views as well so we'll go ahead and uh, change these ids so that it'll be easier to reference in uh, uh, our java code so for that sake just click on the button here and on the right hand corner so if you you can see at the top you have the id button so we'll change this to btn9 which is button 9 in short and uh, you'll be uh, prompted with the but, uh, with the dialog box saying update usages as well so basically uh, what it's asking you is whenever you have a, a button which is placed relatively to this so it is assigned with respect to the id so when you update its id 
of a particular button then the the id should be updated for all other buttons as well so we'll go ahead and uh, click on s and uh, now we'll do this we'll do the same thing for all buttons so we'll call this btn8 this becomes btn7 this is btn we'll call it btn divide btn6 btn5 btn mul btn3 btn2 sorry so btn2 btn1 btn plus okay let's call it btn add btn add this is btn clear <coughs> this is btn0 this is btn equal and this becomes btn sub so as you can see i have uh, changed the ids for each and every button so that we can easily recognize this in our java code so once we do this um, if you are having uh, problems with uh, creating the same layout um, what i suggest is you do, do exactly how i asked you to do because if you keep uh, placing if you first take the button 9 and uh, then you start placing 1 so what happens is 1 is placed relatively with 9 so if 9 is moved even your 1 will move so basically you need to stack it uh, in a particular order so that uh, you know if if one thing moves it remains the same uh, for everything like suppose if i move 9 a little below everything else moves so that is why you in relative layout you need to make sure that each one is placed uh, perfectly in order with respect to each other and uh, hope you have completed this layout uh, as it is and uh, we'll also go ahead and uh, change the id of uh, the text views let's call it text view control and we'll change the id of the other text view to text view display or text view result now go ahead and change the text of the text view to control okay so as you can see we have a, a pretty good uh, layout here so we have our uh, control buttons the arithmetic buttons and uh, a clear option to clear this control text view field and uh, this is where the result will be displayed so i hope uh, you have uh, created this after this uh, we let's move on to the java code uh, in in the next video so make sure you like and uh, subscribe and let's meet you in the next video bye